Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a Windows 10 black screen or blank screen you are receiving when you are into the Windows operating system. So you might typically receive this after you've already signed into your account and then once you've logged in, instead of seeing your typical desktop and your desktop icons, you are instead greeted with a blank or a black screen, whichever you would prefer to describe the situation. I did make a video of this a couple of years ago, and I didn't actually do voice narration over it. I did a few videos in a series that I just kind of made a video and, and showed steps on the screen, and the video has since garnered a lot of attention, and I wanted to make an update video for that just to allow people if they would rather hear somebody describe the fix because the fix still works now in 2017 as much as it did a couple years ago but I thought I would just do the courteous thing and create an update video just so anybody maybe didn't see the previous one and wants to see it how to do it now so we're gonna jump right into it so we are in the position that obviously you can see I, my cursor is on the screen but there's nothing else that appears on here so the first thing you want to do is tap on the control alt delete keys at the same time on your keyboard so just quickly tap so using one hand hit the control alt and then the other hand use to tap the delete key you want to do this all at the same time so control alt delete okay so once you're on this screen you want to left click on what says task manager right here You should see a list of processes here. Now you want to left click on the file tab right here, up at the top left, right underneath task manager. You want to left click on that, and then left click on run new task. Now using your keyboard you want to type in reg, R-E-G, edit, E-D-I-T. It should all be one word. And then you want to tap inside this box where it says create this task with administrative privileges. So click inside there, and then left click on this OK button at the bottom of that dialog window. So now that we are in the registry editor, we're going to be doing some navigating. The first thing we are going to go under is H key local machine. You're going to left click on the little arrow next to it, or double click on the folder. It doesn't really matter. All you want to do is get the drop down to appear underneath. And then once you've done that, you want to do the same thing that you did to get underneath H key local machine for the software folder. I'm going to expand that one as well. And I'm also going to expand the view of this column over a little bit so I can see where we're working a little bit better. And now you want to go down to where it says Microsoft. Expand that one as well. And then once you've done that, you want to go down to Windows NT should be near the bottom of the list right here expand that one as well and then you want to expand the current version folder right underneath should only be one folder more than likely underneath Windows NT so you want to expand that and then once you have done that I'm going to actually expand the column a little bit more here so I can see a little bit better and I'm going to go down to win log on should be one word win log on right here and now I'm going to left click on the win log on folder once you have found this folder left click on it once and then on the right side here there should be something that says shell right here you can see that you don't even have to really scroll down but you can if you want to it should read shell you want to double click on this If there is anything other than explorer.exe in here, you want to type it in as it appears on my screen. So if there are some random letters or something, you want this value data to say explorer.exe. So for example, if it says something like this, 
you want to delete that, type explore, E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R dot -E E-X-E, just like you would spell Internet Explorer, except without the Internet part, of course. And then once you're done doing that, you're going to click on OK to save our changes. And now I would recommend closing out of the registry editor. And I'm going to close out of Task Manager as well. And now you want to tap on the Control Alt Delete keys on your keyboard once again. And now once you're back at the screen, you want to go to the bottom right corner of it. There should be a power icon. And when you hover over it, it should say shut down. You want to left click on this button. And then you want to left click on restart. Now it appears I do have some updates, so this might take an additional moment to restart. So I'm going to update and restart here.
Okay, so now everything looks normal. So I'm just going to enter my computer password here just to show you guys everything is good. And there we go. We can see we got access to our desktop once again and everything looks to be as it should. So I should note a couple things. Number one, this is not going to work for everybody. Um, based on my previous video's reception, I would assume that it will work for most people. However, that's not to say it's going to work for every single person on this video, which is unfortunate, but that's just a fact of life. Some people's situations are a little bit different, as well as some people might not follow all the directions in the video exactly how they appear. I notice that happens very frequently as well, so you can't really blame me for that second and later part. But I do hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I showed the whole video. I didn't really try and edit out a lot of parts of it because I want people to understand that it does take time and you have to be patient. I'm sure many of you just jumped forward to this part of the video, which is fine, but I do like to show you guys how long it takes to fix these issues. They don't just magically get resolved in 30 seconds. I just was responding to comments today talking about how they were running System Restore and they've only been running it for 10 minutes. They want to know why it's taking so long. And that's the kind of attitude that I think is really wrong going into a problem like this. Um, there are quick fixes and there are fixes that take a little bit of time and this is probably one of those. So just keep that in mind when you're going into this. Now I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. Tell me what you think and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.